the man and you should know that. Know that couple racks I blow that. Know that superstar status. Take a picture with you. Jit, 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 jit. What it is, where all your man, your AKA Mr. Live Fucking Wire, man. I'm in the building, man. My man, 410 degrees. You already know what it is. Jit. My flow is like piranhas, I'm getting that cash money like them fucking big timers I'm a grinder, a hustler, mommy throw it in the bag If they see my bank account, here to make them haters mad I'm putting man, working like a Mexican, putting on my next again I'm excellent, the prime example of a Hall of Famer I'm a smasher homie like danger, no homo My four folk are bullets like Tony Romo G5 fly by my flow and polo, all by my lonely rolling dolo Green's man in the building with your mind, yuck AKA Mr. Live Wire. The motherfucking jit. building. Like for the niggas that don't know who you is, like let them know who you is. Man, they call me Yuck, AKA Mr. Live Fucking Wire. Yuck is an acronym for your unknown knowledge, man. Your unknown knowledge, man. I'm not like you niggas kind, man. I'm cut from a different cloth. You already know what it is, man. They call me Yuck, AKA Mr. Live Wire. The Live Wire is for my stage performance. You already know what that is, though. I get an electrifying show. Everywhere I go, I set it off, and you should know that. Yeah. You the man. You should know that. Already. Every time we see you, man, every time we see you, you in that cash line, cash line all day, every all day. day, man. Tell us what's, what's up with that. Hey, man, big shouts out to John Cash, man. Um, One of the uh, the clothing designers in Baltimore. It's a lot of clothing designs that we have in Baltimore, but one for sure stands out, cash line, because he support. A lot of the things that we doing out here as far as the music and this entertainment period, man. Big shouts out to John Cass. He provides a lot of clothing, you know what I mean, to a lot of the artists in Baltimore City. Y'all know who y'all is, man. Big shouts out to John Cass, man. They keep a nigga fresh, though, man. Cash land explains itself, man. Jip. Yeah. Well, I like the people know, like, what you got new coming out or uh, working on any new projects? Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Right now, though, um, I got the album out. It's called... Your unknown knowledge is self-titled, aka Mr. Live Wire. Uh, check that out. I got singles on there with jazz from Drew Hill. I got producers like Spielberg, Ron Rico, Born Wild, Lil Shank from the Squad Drake Boys. Um, I got a mixtape out right now and it's buzzing in the streets right now. It's called Trendsetter Music. As you can see, that's all we do is set trends for real. You know, volume one, volume two will be out soon. You know what I mean? So we just working, man. I'm working on a new EP right now. I just signed the label, you know what I mean, deal with uh, Varsity ENT. You already know what it is, man. So Yeah, we, how did that working, come man. about? Like, how did uh, you Varsity get together? Well, I mean, me and D from uh, Varsity Entertainment, like, um, we, we, we've been around each other for a while now. You know, and we've been talked about it. We talked about it almost two years ago, for real. And I was just like, D, I like the way you moving. I like the way you work. I like how you do what you do with the artists and everything. And um, I'm just observing the team, and I, and I like what y'all doing. So, you know, we just let everything, like, you know, just uh, uh, pan itself out and work itself out, though. And um, at the same time, me and Big Bro hooked up, you know what I mean, D-Boy. And, um, like, D was just like, yo, like, you know, I'm feeling with it, what you're doing. I'm feeling your movement. I'm feeling the brand. And Vossi ENT is just not about just artists. It's artists with brands. You feel me? Big shouts out to the artists all on Vossi ENT. And, um, that, I mean, it, it just went from there. The man, he seen my grind. And I was just like, yo, like, it's a good look. You feel me? So I'm, I'm like LeBron on my shit. You feel me? I'm taking my talents to Vossi ENT. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it just worked out, man. 2013 is a new year for us. You know what I mean? We grinding. You know what I'm saying? So hey, ain't too much more for that, man. Y'all just got to stay tuned, you know? I like the people know, like, what inspires you to do your music? Like, what's um, your influence? My influence would do music, right? Uh, like, back in the day, man, my uncles and them, they used to be B-boys. You know what I mean? Shout out to Blast Productions, my Uncle Wayne. I uh, used to call them Wave, my Uncle Gino, T-Sizzle right now. He's still DJing out there, Mushy and all them. Y'all already know what it is. Like, so um, my uncles is B-boys. So, like, actually, I was born into music. You know what I'm saying? So my uncles and we used to have parties all the time. They used to break out the car, boy, used to dance. You know what I mean? Do all the shit for real. So I like, I, I just grew up around it. And then um, as I got a little older and stuff like that, I just started to take on my own influences like Tupac Shakur, like Jay-Z, like Nas, KRS-One, Rakim. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those dudes, man, the lyrical dudes and the dudes that had substance and contents in their music. So it was like, I mean, that was a lot of my influences though for real. I used to write poetry at the same same time but um you know they was a lot of my influences that's, that's all i listened to for real was, was little old school dudes for real like where are you you come from 
Hey man, you already know born and raised. They call it code 17 now. It used to be just 21217. You feel me? Pennsylvania Avenue, Uptown. Y'all already know what it is, man. Big shout out to my Avenue niggas, the Dome, Murphy Homes, you know what I mean? LD. You already know, man. 563. Man, this everybody, man. Stop the street, Curry Street niggas. You already know what it is, man. You know what I mean? I just came from Pennsylvania Avenue, man. I was born and raised, though, dog. You already know. Okay, okay. Like, let, let the people know, like, how you come out. Like, what's your style in music? Like, what's your your style? Let them know your style. Yeah, I mean, my my style, um, my style is 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 is, is versatile first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, though, my name is Yuck, aka Mr. Live Wire, and the Yuck stands for your unknown knowledge. Your unknown knowledge is like the conscious side of me, the more lyrical side, you know, because I came from a group and we was called the Lyrical Assassins. This is all in my hands and everything like that. Big shout out to the Lyrical Assassins. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all know who it is. Um, so, you know, Fremont Avenue niggas and shit like that, you already know. But uh, my style, it came from like, you know, this, like I said, I started off writing poetry and everything like that. So I just used to take. You know, everything that I went through, I just used to write it down on paper and stuff like that. So I was already lyrical. I mean, I read a lot of books and everything like that. So it's like um, that and then me just coming up and just seeing like how, like I used to watch niggas and shit and, then, and niggas used to watch me. But like this how slick niggas was, like this be on some slick shit. And then, and then you know how the South came through. So it's, it's, it's a twist between Nas and Jeezy. If you ask me, you feel me? Like I'm, I'm lyrical, and then I had that self slick shit with me at the same time. So what I did was I to combine it together, and I came with my own style. You feel me? That's why they come me, aka Mr. Live Wire. Yeah, I know not, you know. Okay, all righty. Yeah, yeah. Like we know how life is in Baltimore City. Like, like what hardships that you had to go through? Like, what was the things that brought you up in the city? Oh man, shall I, shall I proceed? <laughs> um. Man, the things that uh, uh, that that kept me alive in Baltimore City is awareness. You feel me? And observing niggas. But um, at a, at a very young age, you know, my moms, and my pops, you know, what I'm saying they still living. Big shouts out to them. Uh, but they didn't really play a big part in my upbringing. You know, what I'm saying I like I was I was left alone as a youngster and stuff like that. Went to go live with my uncles and my grandfather and them like that. And then I just had to like salvage the streets and stuff like that. I grew up, we used to go to Shake and Bake all the time. Like I used to, I mean, it's just like, I, I, I'm, it's not no better than anybody else that probably went through something worse than me. But at the same time, I grew up in the streets. You know, we always hear the stories about you, everybody grew up in the streets and everybody had hard times, this, that, and the third, right? But um, I really had hard times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, I used to sleep in my homeboy vestibule. You know what I'm saying? I used to sleep at the end of my father's crack bed while they smoking crack in the morning, early in the morning on Razor Curry, four o'clock in the morning. I'm sleeping at the foot of the bed, like real crazy stuff, man. Uh, I had to do what I ever had to do for real to eat and everything like that. So my upbringing, it was, it was, it was, it was kind of tough. But once I got my foot in the door and I started working and everything like that, I got myself together. And I know how to make my own money. I started hustling and stuff like that and knowing what I had to do to survive. So you already know what it is, man. Like it ain't no different from nobody else that been on the streets and had to do what they had to do to eat. You know what I'm saying? Big shouts out to y'all if you're still persevering. Like I'm, I'm living proof that you can make it. You know what I'm saying? From from those situations and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is. It okay, is for the ones that's coming up in the game, any words of inspiration or anything? I mean, the only words of inspiration I can give you, and you can look me in my eyes, for real, the only words of inspiration that I can give you is is be consistent and never stop. Be persistent and never stop doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because like, it don't matter. Like, no matter what you do, as long as you be persistent and you keep on pushing, like you will be successful. That that is the key to being successful is to never stop and keep pursuing whatever you that you try to pursue. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep pushing and you will succeed. That's the only advice I gotta give you, man. Okay, for the ones that just got introduced to you, like let them know where they can find your music or anything like that, book you, all that information. Well, you already know, um, as far as my music and everything, uh, you, I got music on Reverb Nation, uh, That Piff, AllBeMoreHipHop.com, 410 Degrees, I got the videos out there, um, like I got singles out there, like you can just Google me, yeah, aka Mr. Live Wire, you can hit me on Twitter, BeMoreYUK1. 
You can hit me on Instagram, YUK, a.k.a. Mr. Live Wire. But just Google me, though. All my interviews that come up and stuff like that. Like, so, I mean, I'm not too hard to find for us a brand name. So, it's not it's not too hard to find. Just Google, yep, a.k.a. Mr. Live Wire. You already know. You already know, man. 14 degrees in the building. Yeah, my service is going to be a feature. When I open 24-7, I ain't trying to catch no sleep. 24 carry in the Benz, and I ain't trying to catch no sleep. 